Today I'll be showing you how to use the iPhone's shortcuts app to make an action menu that can be triggered with your iPhone 15 Pro's action button. You can also trigger this action menu on any iPhone that doesn't have an action button as well, which we'll get to in a bit. So why would you want an action menu? Well, I don't know, you clicked on this video so I assume you knew. But basically you can use it to perform quick actions like Shazam a song, write down a note, or record a voice memo, all at a moment's notice. So let's get right into it. First things first, you're going to want to make sure the shortcuts app is downloaded on your iPhone. iPhones come with it by default, but if it's not on there for whatever reason, you can just download it from the app store. Once you've downloaded the app, open it and make sure you're in the shortcuts tab. Tap the plus on the top right corner, which will make a shortcut. Basically, we're gonna make a shortcut that can then run more shortcuts. So let's first name this shortcut. So tap the name and then tap rename. And I'm just gonna name my shortcut action menu. But you can name it whatever you want, name it Jeff or something. So after you've named your child, tap add action. And we're gonna search for the choose from menu feature. So here it has these two things that say one and two, right? We don't want these. So let's just go ahead and remove them. Now we can add the different features you want the action menu to do. So first I'm going to add a calculator feature so I can access the calculator app quickly. So I'll tap add new item and then I'll write calculator right over here. Although to be completely honest, I can do whatever I want with it. Oh, this is calculator, calculator, um, tap done. But yeah, like I can name this whatever I want. It doesn't really matter what you name it as long as you know what it means. So you'll see that when you name something, it'll show up right below with a little blue box next to it. So look at this thing. So that's basically setting up what the action is going to do when you choose it. So in the search bar below, we can now search for the open app action and we're going to make a shortcut that opens the calculator app. So let's just find the calculator app. And there we go, it's right there. But we need to we need to link this with the actual thing on the menu. So we'll just drag that right over there and there you go. So now that we have one action, let's test it out by running the shortcut. Tap done and you'll see your little shortcut right there. Um, I, can, I have quite a lot of shortcuts, um, but yeah, if you tap the shortcut, you'll see our menu pops up and if you select calculator, then the calculator app is open. That's pretty cool. So let's go back into the shortcuts app and edit the shortcut again by tapping the three dots. And now we can basically repeat the process with whatever we want the menu to do. You can do more than simply opening apps. You can actually perform specific actions. For example, if you have the Shazam app, you can configure Shazam to start listening to music as soon as you tap the action on the menu instead of jumping to the app. So let's do that. So first we'll add a new item on the menu itself by adding new item and then write down Shazam here, I guess. And then you can see Shazam shows up right here. So now we can go here into the search bar and we can search up for the Shazam. And Shazam has this one shortcut and it's going to recognize music. And right now it's just sitting here all lonely. So let's pair it up with the Shazam action itself. And voila. And you can do this with a lot of stuff. Basically, it's a shortcut that can run any other shortcut. I can use it to add a quick note as well. So if we add a new item, we can do we can do note, all right, and then notes right there. So we can now search for actions related to the notes app. So we can scroll down and then there's create note right there. So we're just gonna change this slightly. Um, it's not gonna have the menu result, just tap backspace. And there we go, it's just gonna be create note with body in folder. So now I can just take this and we can drag it under note. Of course, you can make a shortcut that just opens the notes app, like what we did with the calculator app, but I personally find this a lot more convenient. Um, if we tap done and then run the shortcut, note, it just opens up this really cool dialog box. You can make your little note, and then once you're done in your note, just tap done and it opens the notes app, and then there it is. Perfect. So yeah, that's how you set up your action menu in the shortcuts app. You can add as many different actions as you want. Um, just tap three dots, add however new items you want. And then yeah. So if you wanna set this up with your iPhone 15 Pro in your action button settings, you can scroll through and have it run your shortcut by tapping choose a shortcut. Of course, I'm poor, so I don't have an iPhone 15 Pro. So let's just try to replicate this feature using an older iPhone. And in this case, I'm using the iPhone 13. Since the action menu is just a shortcut, there's various different ways you can run the shortcut, but the one most similar to the action button is probably backtap. Backtap isn't always most reliable, so I'll show you one other quick way to trigger the menu if you don't like backtap, but backtap works for me most of the time, so I'll show you how to do it. Go into settings, scroll down to accessibility, touch, and scroll down to backtap. All right, so right here, there's double tap, there's triple tap, I'll just make it a double tap, so Tap that, scroll all the way down. All right, there's a bunch of stuff here which you can do. But what we're interested in right now is the 
shortcuts section right here. And there it is, there's our action menu shortcut right there. So we'll just tap that, and then there's a little check mark that goes there, and then just swipe away. So now let's let's try that out. I'm just gonna double tap the back of my phone real quick. And then there you go, it opens my uh, little action menu, right? So I can, I can open the calculator, right? If we double tap it again, you can Shazam and listen for a song. Of course, there's something playing right now, so we don't really need that. We can get rid of that. But yeah, that's how you trigger the action menu using the back tap feature on the iPhone. But like I said before, back tap is tricky sometimes, so you can actually open the shortcut one other way. If we go to our lock screen and press and hold, tap customize, and then tap the lock screen, we can add a button on our lock screen that opens the menu. So tap add widgets, scroll down to the shortcuts app, and then we'll just tap that shortcuts widget. We close these out. And then to configure what shortcut this button actually does, we just tap the widget itself. And then here we have our action menu shortcut, tap that. And then you see it appears right there. All right, now we can just tap done. So now we have this little button on our phone. And if we tap it, it opens up the action menu and we can we can do everything as you normally would. All right, tap it again, open the calculator app. It's pretty neat. Now this is just the action menu I made for the purpose of this video, for the purpose of this tutorial. Um, but I don't actually use this. We can just delete that right there. I actually use this one that I named Fish, so it wouldn't get mixed up with the the rest of them. So I have I've Calculator, I have Shazam, and then I have two ChatGPT fields. All right, so one I can just start a voice conversation with ChatGPT, and then the other one I can type ChatGPT a message. I have a voice memo which will start recording a voice memo. I have notes, and I have reminders, and I have calendar. And uh, yeah, let's see this menu in action just by tapping that. And it's it's pretty neat. I can I can just ask ChatGPT right there. Um, but yeah, that's my action menu. All right, that's it for this video. Happy New Year, of course. If you have any questions or anything else, please shoot them down in the comments below, and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. If this video helped, please consider subscribing since it'll only take you about five seconds, and you'll be supporting this channel. So, well, why not? All right, I'll see you in the next one.